So you're moving to Pennsylvania and you're curious if living in the Philadelphia suburb town of Ardmore is right for you. Stick with me because we're gonna go over five pros and five cons. Hey there, my name is Corey Benhart and I'm a local realtor here in the Philadelphia metro area. And I specialize in helping people just like you move to Pennsylvania, but more specifically the Philadelphia suburbs area. So if you would like to move here, make sure to reach out and I would love to help you find your perfect Pennsylvania home. All right, we're gonna start out with the pros. And number five on our list is the location location of Ardmore, which is such an ideal location. The commute from Ardmore to Philadelphia is only 30 minutes, which is why so many people live in Ardmore, but work in the city. Not only just being so close to the center city Philadelphia area, but also when it comes to vacations or just day trips, it's under a two hour drive to the beach in New Jersey. And it's also about 20 to 25 minutes to King of Prussia Mall. So being close to Philadelphia, the beach and the third largest mall in the entire country, I don't know what else you would really need. And if you like to travel a lot, the Philadelphia International Airport is only about 30 to 35 minute commute as well. All right, number four on our list is the housing market. The median price of a home in Ardmore is 450,000, and that is much more affordable than the surrounding towns. Haverford's median price point is 809,000, and Wynwood's median price point is 576,000. For a town that arguably has a lot more to do and also is not much of a difference when it comes to location to all of the great things surrounding the area. Living in Ardmore kind of might be a no-brainer for you compared to the other surrounding areas. Not only is the average price point better, but the actual homes are great. You could find a good-sized single-family home in Ardmore for the same price that you could find a smaller starter home in those other surrounding towns. Ultimately, you can get a lot more bang for your buck in Ardmore. All right, and next up, number three on our list is the safe safety in Ardmore. Before we go over some crime stats in the Ardmore area, the question of is Ardmore, Pennsylvania safe is honestly up to you. The safety of a specific area kind of comes down to your own personal opinion on what is considered safe. But we can kind of take a look at some crime stats and you can make the ultimate decision. But a couple of stats that I can share with you is Ardmore has just under 14,000 residents and only about 451 crimes in a year. If you want to do your own research into the crime stats in Ardmore, check out neighborhoodscout.com. All right, and next on our list is the schools. The school district of Haverford Township and Lower Marion School District make up the Ardmore area, and those districts are rated as number four and number 22 for the best districts in the entire state of Pennsylvania. Niche.com gives Ardmore an overall A plus rating. Lower Marion has an incredible student to teacher ratio of 13 to one with a 97% graduate graduation rate. Fun fact, Kobe Bryant actually graduated from Lower Marion and was drafted right into the NBA right after he graduated from Lower Marion. Haverford Township has an A plus rating as well with a student teacher ratio of 17 to one, which is still incredible and a 96% graduation rate compared to the national graduation rate of 86%. And the number one pro is Suburban Square. The Square is an outdoor shopping center made up of over 50 different stores, both both locally owned and nationally owned with stores such as Lululemon, Apple, and Trader Joe's. Besides all of the amazing restaurants and shops, one of my favorite parts about Suburban Square is just all of the common areas that are great for just sitting and relaxing with friends or family. Suburban Square also hosts tons of different yearly concerts, shows, and pop-up shops. Now we're gonna go over the cons of living in Ardmore. We have five total cons, let's get started. Number five on our list are the rental prices in Ardmore. You may be thinking about purchasing a home in Ardmore, so this section might not apply to you. So if that's the case, please feel free to skip to number four. If not, the average rental price in Ardmore for a one bedroom apartment is $1,800 a month. I know the average price of a home in Ardmore is relatively low, but when it comes to the rent, that is certainly not the case. I'm gonna break this down into two major reasons why I think the rental prices in Ardmore are astronomically high. Since COVID hit in 2020, there has been a 
big migration from the people that live in the center city Philadelphia area out to the more wide open and less populated suburbs. So that has made a lot of people move to the Ardmore area and with overall more demand that then increases the rental prices. And to keep up with that demand, that also means that we're going to need more and more apartment complexes to be built in the area, which is certainly happening. There are a couple of very popular brand new construction apartment complexes in the Ardmore area. I think that because of these apartment complexes being brand new and being so nice with some great amenities, that also means that for all of the perks in the location that these apartment complexes are being so close to everything and still being close to the city, that kind of comes with pretty high prices. Number four on our list is the traffic. Now, if you're moving from a place like California to Ardmore, or at least around the Philadelphia suburb area, traffic is going to seem like nothing compared to where you're coming from. But sometimes the suburban square and Lancaster Ave area can get pretty jammed with traffic because of the square, a train station, and just general commuters moving in and out of the area being so close to the city. So plan accordingly when it comes to overall drive time right around rush hour. Number three on our list is the things to do. So depending on your personal preference, this one could be a pro or it could be a con. Although Ardmore has tons of local shopping, dining, entertainment, you'll probably eventually run out of things to do. Whereas if you travel the 30 minute drive to Philly, there are endless things to do. If you prefer to live in the center of it all, you might prefer to live in a city such as Philadelphia that is full of museums, restaurants, and nightlife as opposed to the suburb town of Ardmore or just about any other suburb town because you're definitely not going to have as many things to do and tons of options surrounding you at all times as if you were to live in a major city like Philadelphia. And that brings us to number two, which is the overall lack of suburban feel. When you hear the word suburbs, you might think of wide open land, cornfields and farms, or neighborhoods with homes that are sitting on an acre each. But unfortunately, that's not the kind of suburb that Ardmore is. Ardmore has a very urban suburban feel, although you could probably find a home in Ardmore that has a large backyard, definitely don't expect it to have tons and tons of land each and every house because that's ultimately not really what Ardmore is. But the good news is if you're looking for a town that has more of a suburban feel, reach out and I can help you find the perfect town that will fit exactly what you're looking for. All right, and now number one con of living in Ardmore, Pennsylvania has to be the cost of living. Let's take a look at bestplaces.net to compare the Ardmore cost of living with the overall state and national average. If the national average is ranked at 100, the state average comes in lower at 92.5, but the Ardmore area rates as 117.4 for the overall cost of living. Ardmore's cost of living is rated higher than the national average on the grocery, housing, utilities, transportation, and overall miscellaneous categories. Although Ardmore might be a lot more affordable than some of the surrounding areas, comparing Ardmore to the state and national average, it is a bit higher than both of those together. But you also have to keep in mind how close you are to everything and everything that Ardmore area has to offer. So depending on what your pros and cons are, comment below and let me know what you think are major pros and major cons and which one may be a deal breaker. But if none of them are deal breakers, I make videos all about the Philadelphia metro area. So if you want to learn more about Pennsylvania, the Philadelphia metro area and the towns that make up the suburbs, please consider subscribing. I'm a local realtor here in the Philadelphia metro area. If you're thinking about moving, please don't hesitate to reach out. All of my contact information is below. Thank you so much for watching. And until then, I will see you on the next video.